first game back since dealing with uh, your left knee swelling. Played 43 minutes tonight, led the team in 23 points. What did you see out there? How did it feel to be back? Uh, you know, it felt good to, to be back, just be out there with the guys, um, for sure. I mean, today was obviously a crazy game, but just to be back out there playing basketball was, uh, you know, felt good for me. Down the stretch, of course, it was a tough one because you guys push it to double overtime. Just walk me through what it was like out there for you. What did you see? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, OKC is a very good team. Um, I think we played really well. Obviously, had an extremely good first half. And I think even the second half, we played well for, for stretches. I mean, they were going to make a run, of course. Um, and we battled back, and we're up two with like 10 seconds left. So you know, it's a game we should win. Rebounding has obviously been an issue, especially when uh, Yak was out. And it was an issue in the second half again. Is that just attention to detail, focus? What, what do you think needs to be done to firmly address it? Yeah, I think in the second half, they really just, they really played you know, a lot harder. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's kind of one thing. And, and we just got to kind of be locked in for, you know, for 48 minutes to make sure that we're rebounding all throughout the game. How do how do you repeat that effort, though, kind of going into tomorrow's back-to-back -back game against New Orleans, coming out with that same level of energy and intensity, especially coming off of a double OT? Yeah, man, get to the hotel, get some sleep, just <laughs> get ready for tomorrow. Emmanuel obviously had some big shots, big moments. Is that the player you came to know, New York? Yeah, sure. You know, and he's, he's just coming back, too, so he'll find his. Yeah. It's funny, I mean, he had a double-double today, so, you know, that was big. And then what was it like to go up against uh, Team Canada, teammates in uh, Shea, as well as yeah. Lou? Oh, it was always fun going up against them. You know, I'm, I was trying to get the win so I could talk trash, but, you know, they, they did their thing, for sure. Second game back for you after dealing with that ankle injury. How did it feel out there tonight? Um, it felt better. Um, I feel like um, I'm already catching my rhythm again. Obviously not at 100% yet. Um, still got to get my conditioning back. Um, but overall, it felt pretty good. Definitely, uh, Coach and RJ were impressive, obviously, with, with how you were playing in the paint on both sides of the ball. What did you see out there that just felt like it was working for you? Um, I, I, I don't, honestly don't know. Like, I, the game just ended. Um, I think I got um, I got easy buckets there for the most part. Like, uh, I got found in a couple of dump offs and stuff, but. Really just tried to um, crowd the paint since we didn't go to do a good job with that um, in the Houston game. Um, and then on offense, yeah, like I said, I, I think the, my shots just kind of came to me. Obviously, uh, it was a tough one as being at double overtime, but you guys played very well in the first half. That's something that coach also pointed out. What can you take away from that half that you could go bring into tomorrow's, tomorrow's game? Um, I think our, our activity was very good on defense. Um, we, we had really good rotations. Um, so I think we got to keep that up. Um, I think we guarded their one-on-one -on -one, um, very well with our team defense. Um, so um, we're probably going to see more of that tomorrow with, with some really good one-on-one -on -one players. Um, and we got we to gotta apply that tomorrow as well. All right, Coach, tough one tonight. Obviously, double overtime. Walk me through what you saw. Uh, played on the road against a really good team. Um, I thought that the first half we did, uh, we did an outstanding job uh, both on offense and defense. Uh, we kept the team from scoring in the paint and we were able to rebound the ball and really fueled our offense. Uh, really good ball movement in the first half uh, with, with uh, 19, uh, uh, 19 assists as well. Um, in the second half, uh, they, uh, we knew that they're going to have a run there. Uh, we were able to to control it at a certain points. Uh, at the end of the game, uh, we were uh, up two and we secured defensive rebound. All we had to do is, uh, you know, secure the ball there and go to the free throw line and, and win it. Unfortunately, uh, we, we turned the ball over there and um, uh, I tried to call timeout. Unfortunately, referees did not see that in time. Um, and uh, um, rebounding was the problem in the second half. Uh, that was their biggest adjustment in the second, uh, second half. They went rebounding much more and uh, that, that, that hurt us. Again, the, the late game situations, the turnover, the block shot, the, that, those are the the growing pains for young teams, you got to go through those bad ones to get the... Grow, growing pains for, for, for sure, you know, uh, but uh, a lot of to learn uh, learn for us tonight. Uh, 
we did uh, some really good stuff and uh, you know a lot of those guys have been for the first time in those situations as well closing games and understanding uh, you know what they need to do and how they need to play there um, this is going to be great film for for me to study and then uh, learn our team as well uh, we were able to to take uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander when he was in foul trouble and uh, create uh, good uh, good stuff for us offensively and uh, we just did not have enough to finish the game it seemed like Scotty was very hesitant to be involved down the stretch offensively uh, obviously a lot of minutes what did you see why wasn't he able to get involved uh, in, the, uh, in the overtimes in the last few minutes yeah uh, uh, first of all uh, we were looking uh, for for uh, less of the matchups there uh, uh, trying to to get against players who were in a foul situation also when we went to him he was trying to connect with uh, with teammates and fi find them for four shots uh, and it's also for him to understand how he needs to affect the game in, in those those moments and sometimes that's like with all ball cut or it's a good spacing and sometimes with the on on the ball and then creating on the ball as well so uh, um, it was it was good game for us to to learn the, how to handle those situations tonight that last play of single uh, of the first overtime was it just designed for Scotty to get it and make it a, make a read? And he yes, uh, we want we wanted the ball in, in his hands uh, to 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 create there, and uh, you, you know, in situations like that, we were going to to uh, quickly a couple of times in a row. We just wanted to to give it a yeah. different look there at the end because they were ready for that. Did you? Uh, what did you see for tonight from Jakob Pertl as he was pretty effective on both sides in the paint? Uh, you know, um, after missing uh, four weeks, coming back to play, uh, he's finding his rhythm. I thought that he did a lot of great stuff for us tonight. Um, he did a better job of uh, protecting the rim. Uh, he did a good job playing in pick and rolls in, in a short rolls. Um, I thought that, that he played a very effective game. Thanks for watching the Toronto Raptors YouTube channel. Check out our latest video and subscribe for more.